so many historically great running backs throughout NFL history, and there's probably five that are widely considered as one of, if not the best, to ever do it. Five of them. You got Barry Sanders, you got Jim Brown, you got Walter Payton, you got Emma Smith, and you got LaDainian Tomlinson. Those five will more than likely always be the top five. I, I imagine some will try and throw in Eric Dickerson or guys like that, but in my opinion, that five right there that I just named are the five that people associate running backs with, all-time great running backs with. But who out of those five are the best? Now, Walter Payton obviously played longer than um, Jim Brown and Barry Sanders. LT in his prime for San Diego, or LA as they're known now, was sensational in his own right. It's all, I think, preference. I think no one has, it like, <clears throat> it isn't like a debate where it's, it's just one or two people and then that's just it. You have a good three to four guys that have a case to be the best running back of all time. It just depends on what you like in a running back, what you see in a running back. Emmett Smith has the most yards out of these five, but is probably the weaker of the five just because of longevity and what he had behind him. He had you know one of the best O-lines ever protecting him. And that's not a knock on him. That's just reality. Barry, Jim, LT... And Walter were probably better talents than Emmett Smith. They just didn't fall into a better situation that Emmett fell into. So Emmett, I think, stays at number five. I think number four, see, four through one is tough because you can go any direction of this. Barry, Jim, Walter, and Ladanian all have cases to be the best running backs of all time. Um, I think Barry is the hardest to replicate. I think since he retired, no one's been able to do what he does. He made professional athletes look stupid on a game-to-game -game basis. He, with what he was able to do, turn up field to juke and jive, I've still not seen anything like it since. We've seen flashes of guys that could do it every now and then, but to do it gamely like he would, and to make these guys look dumb, and have the offensive line just collapse under him, and him still find a way to just make these guys look stupid with his crazy, um, just athletic ability. To me, he is the best ever, but again, I'm a Lions fan, so if you can cough it up to being biased um I can totally understand Jim Brown and Walter Payton but I would take Barry but I think objectively speaking without having a clear bias if you're talking about the most skilled running back of all time perhaps not the most successful probably with LaDainian Tomlinson um LT had everything going for him he barely turned the ball over he was a scoring machine uh, which I, I think he scored more touchdowns than Peyton Sanders and Emmett and Jim Brown. You could correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but I'm almost positive LT had more touchdowns and um, would do it more often as well. Um, he was just he, he was he was the man for San Diego for all those years, years and years. He didn't have the the playoff success, but nor did Barry. You know what I mean? A lot of that falls into the situation of the teams and um, how much how much they can have around them. It isn't like basketball where one good player can lead a team to the playoffs and the finals. You got to have, you know, a variety of good uh, things to a team to even get to the playoffs, let alone win the whole thing. And LT was with Antonio Gates and Phillip Rivers and guys like that, but typically San Diego wasn't a Super Bowl threat. So <clears throat> any direction you go, like I said, it's a very – Intriguing debate only because like there's four guys that have a legitimate case as to being the best ever. You can say Emma Smith, but I think most people would say like probably not. They know why he was as good as he was, and he was he was great. Again, top five running back of all time. I just don't think he's as good as uh, the previous four. So, in my opinion, I'd probably go Barry, LT, and then between Jim Brown and Walter Payton, probably Walter Payton and then Jim Brown in my humble opinion. And I'd like to put Jim Brown over Walter Payton because Walter was a bear, and screw the bears, frankly. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go bear.